Hello guys, it's Natalia here and today we have a different kind of video. We're going to be talking about the Chromebook Spin 513, but this little guy here has a hidden feature you might not know about. Stay tuned to find out more. But let's start with the laptop first. Spin is in the name, so it has the really cool feature of being convertible. So you can use it like this, like a regular laptop, or you can use it in tablet mode, like so, or you can turn it into a tent, like this which is really good if you're trying to watch something on a small space like a tray table because it's stable and it doesn't take up much room. Or alternatively, you can use it in display mode, which disables the keyboard and then you just have a nice and stable monitor. Now its form factor is perfect to take with you wherever you go because it's only 1.2 kilograms and is barely larger than a sheet of paper. It's made of aluminium and the impressive screen to body ratio really makes the beautiful 13 inch full HD screen pop. And of course, it's touchscreen. So the real kicker about this laptop is that it has a Snapdragon processor inside, which you might know from your Android phone or tablet. It's actually a little bit different here because this one runs a full Chrome OS. So as well as having an excellent battery life, it comes with 4G connectivity. That's truly a game changer. So you don't have to search for Wi-Fi or create a battery draining hotspot for connectivity on the go, meaning you can use it online almost anywhere. But actually the LTE connectivity wasn't the twist I wanted to tell you about its sustainability regarding this particular laptop. So together with PX3, an organization that helps us measure IT-related carbon footprint, we've conducted a study to help us understand what has the biggest carbon footprint. End-user computing is a high contributor to environmental pollution and climate change, causing 1% of global emissions, with up to 50% of that just due to the usage alone. So where does the Chromebook Spin 513 come in? Well, by measuring how much power it draws out during regular working hours, depending on different tasks, we observed that the Spin 513 consumes on average around 6 watts of power, which is really low. Even benchmarking the Spin 513 LTE against comparable market-leading notebooks, energy and therefore emission savings of up to 50% were recorded. To read more about our research with PX3 and how we're saving the planet starting with the UK, check the link down below. In the comments, let me know what you think about the Spin 513 and where you'd like to take it with you. I've been Italia and see you soon.